please listen carefully. So today I just wanted to talk uh, about, uh, I don't know, I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. Uh, wait, I think there's another signal coming in or something. My fellow Earthicans, today I would like to talk to you about an important subject. Namely, that I am offering my candidacy for the position of Supreme World Leader. Granted, this is a position I just made up, but don't let that small fact stand in the way of progress. Now, let me make my case. This world is in trouble. Rampant strife, social inequality, and waste are damaging not only the environment, but our habitats. So, as your Supreme World Leader, I offer up several solutions for these global issues threatening our present and our future. Two things will happen immediately. Firstly, at least in America, there are more vacant houses in the country than there are homeless people. So it just makes sense to give all those homeless people homes and thus end homelessness. I'm sure that in other countries there are similar steps we can take to ensure that every single human on earth has a safe place to sleep. Secondly, all of the world's joint resources in science, technology, manufacturing, and infrastructure will immediately focus on phasing out consumable, non-renewable energy sources and immediately begin developing and installing a completely renewable energy network, starting with solar freaking roadways capable of producing clean, near-limitless power to every corner of the globe. Granted, I realize a globe is round, and therefore it doesn't possess corners, but again, don't let the facts stand in the way of improving our world. In setting up this global energy infrastructure, we will be providing and creating countless new jobs, perhaps even bringing unemployment levels down to zero. With this immense surplus of free, clean energy, we will then focus on our food and water sources, and end world hunger and thirst. And next, we will make education and healthcare not businesses, but public services. Our health and the education of future generations should not be based on crude notions of increased profit and a lower bottom line. They should be social investments aimed at increasing our society's potential and well-being. As your supreme world leader, I pledge that anyone who disagrees with those ideas should be rounded up and made to sit in an ER with screaming two-year-olds until they either come around on the issue or until they're seen by a doctor. And they will never be seen by a doctor. Once we have our energy, food, healthcare, and education systems in order, it will be time to readdress our place in space. Earth can't last forever, and if we want humanity to survive, we need to stretch our wings and leave the nest of Earth. We'll start with lunar and Martian colonies, using the knowledge we have gained from fixing our own world and apply those same principles to adapting those worlds to sustain human life. Now I'm sure that there are some among you who are asking, what about money and the economy? It doesn't sound like you're going to be addressing those things at all. And that's a very good question, hypothetical critic I just made up for the purposes of this bit. With energy, food, healthcare, and education taken care of, what do we need money for? I mean, seriously. You have to go buy that newest piece of plastic crap that will just sit in your closet until you move out three years from now and inevitably throw it away so you don't have to move it? Think big picture, hypothetical person. In conclusion, if you make me your supreme world leader, I pledge to only do what is right for our species, to ensure every human being on the planet is treated equitably and fairly and has the same chance as everyone else of living the life of their choosing and to bring our species really and truly into the 21st century. Failing that, I will just eradicate everyone and start over. Thank you for your time and consideration. Not entirely sure where all that came from, but uh, it sounded kind of interesting, I guess. Anyway, I will uh, be back sometime next week. Corey, I hope you have a great 100th episode. Today was my 50th. Uh, and I think there's going to be some big things in the future for, for Venture Labs. So, uh, with that, everyone have a great Memorial Day weekend, and, uh, yeah, 